Brian, Tom, and I met when we were very young. I think Brian and I met at the age of nine, and Tom and I met probably, he was probably like 12 or so, playing ball together, and, and so uh, we grew up together, played ball together, chased girls together, danced around with other people together, double dated together, best man and all that stuff. Actually, I was the best man for both of their weddings. See how that worked out. <laughs> Mike, Mike and I did meet when we were, we were nine years old. My family was new to the neighborhood. And um, uh, his mom talked to my mom, invited me over to his birthday party. First thing I remember about Mike, I saw him in his Cub Scout uniform, his head as big as a bowling ball, and the cap sat about this far down, looked like uh, a beanie more than a cap. But and ever since then, we started hanging around together, and it's been a long time. Long time. Uh, we've actually known each other for probably three quarters of our life now, and uh, it's just kind of a weird situation. But it's good to have some friends that close because not too many of us do. Well, I, I actually met Tom through Mike. Uh, I actually met him and all his brothers pretty much at one time. The great thing about Tom is uh, we he had a lived at a house on the lake at the time. That's where we used to go. We used to, couldn't wait for his, we can say it now, couldn't wait for his mom to be out of town so we can have parties over his house. Uh, I always remember stuff like, like that. We just end up sleeping, spending the whole weekend over his house every every, uh, every other week. And his little littlest brother, John, almost got me and Mike arrested one time because he was shooting squirrels from the from the back porch and Mike and I drove up one day after that and police pulled up right in behind us. That was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. But yeah, I've known, uh, known Tom and Jim, like I said, since about 13. He was about 13, 14. And we've just been running the roads ever since. Yes, Mike and Brian I met right around 13. I want to say it was probably at the ball field at some point. Um, can't remember exactly the specific um, you know, thing that happened that we met, but yeah, they were, they, they helped us to be able to find places to go to because we were younger and we, you know, didn't drive at the time there. They were good mentors, you know, also. But um, yes, it is, it is pretty phenomenal to be able to think back nowadays that that's literally been over 40 years that we've known each other, um, still do things together. We went to several, and I mean several, concerts together. That's kind of what got the Concert Blast thinking together. Also led towards that and um, go strong otherwise. Um, me and Mike being in a band since together, uh, since we were I was probably 23 years old, and we still play around with that, have a great time with that also. I want to <laughs> thank you for letting me be myself again. I get the bow. <laughs> you get the low bow. How low can you go?